Hi, this is Mark Bellis, reporting for the M Bellis Brick Marks channel with the first test of my project for this year, which is a Lego Technic BB-8 droid. The droid is driven from just Lego Technic with power functions. I've decided not to go for the programmability that the Lego NXT or EV3 systems would provide. The idea of this is to uh, try and do it on a modest budget, um, and because it's part of the LEGO Ideas site as a project, the idea is if I can get enough functionality for a good enough price and enough support from all of you viewers, then if I reach 10,000 supporters, a LEGO company would consider making a kit of it. At that stage it would be in competition with other projects of course. So you can see we have a sphere, it's roughly half size uh, compared to the real one in the film. The head at the moment is able to rotate freely on its face. That would help with um, modest functionality until I could uh, make a function to motorise it. Inside we have um, a battery box and some weight blocks as counterweights. Um, I'm going to update the internal mechanism as well as the outer shell uh, over the course of this year. Uh, you can see I don't have very many orange parts at the moment and I've substituted with a few red and tan ones and uh, I don't have all the white parts either and there's some grey and black around as well. So we may accumulate some uh, parts of the right colour during the course of this year. Um, depends what I can find at a reasonable price. So, uh, I'm going to give it a test really. <laughs> In running the sphere, I don't yet have the head attached um, and able to run across the surface, although the design does facilitate um, some pads here that will run reasonably well on a, a slightly rough surface. And I've also included some of the old train magnets. Now, for a proper product, these would have to be encased in something larger to prevent any children swallowing them. As we know, there have been a few incidents with other toys of children doing that and uh, being injured. Um, so it must be safe, of course. So uh, let's just see if I can persuade it to rotate because it's a bit temperamental. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Control is not brilliant yet, but you know, we'll we'll work on that. We've got plenty of time. Push <laughs> and it will speed up quite well. Oops, to be zero over top. <laughs> it has just enough counterweights to move this much. I think I'm going to add some more because then its starting capability will be improved. So we will keep trying. It, it's a reasonably straight line at the moment, uh, but there's work to do. And I'd like to make it steerable. I know some of the um, other products you can buy are steerable. Um, but the idea was just to have something fun that you can drive around and make it yourself because it's made of Lego Technic. So that's the plan. So hope you like it. Hope this uh, video encourages all of you guys who uh, wanted to see a video as soon as I posted the first pictures. Please visit the uh, the project site and uh, give us your support. Uh, I think we're over 400 supporters so far, um, and I would quite like to see reach the milestones of a thousand, five thousand and ten thousand. And uh, I shall keep you posted and uh, if I improve the moving functionality I'll post another video and uh, otherwise I shall keep posting some pictures and updates to the project throughout the year. So uh, <laughs> see you soon. This is Mark Bellis reporting for the Ambos Brickmarks channel. Bye now.